Hello? Alright, what's at the end of this hallway? Oh look, a nice dinner. Mmm, time for a feast. Oh, check. I'm gonna check something. A dessert to cherish our remaining years. Oh, if I remember correctly, these are clues to a puzzle. Bread begins the meal of life. I'm not Christian. I don't know what any of this means. But like, bread is the body of Jesus Christ, wine in his blood, something like that, because Christians are all secretly cannibals. Meat to savor the time at hand. One last drink and the bottle breaks, returning us to the dust from whence we came. So, before I do that, let me just duck into here real quick. Actually, you know what? I come back to this area later. I remember. We don't have to go to that door just yet. Ding ding ding. Dinner served. The answer to that puzzle is really simple. You just shoot this wine glass. That's it. Like, wow. I don't know what happens if you shoot other parts of the painting. I don't even know if you can. Okay, here's a tough part. If I can do this in one try, that'd be great. But knowing my luck, it probably won't happen. So you want to hug this left wall, make sure not to trigger the cutscene. Oh, fuck! Okay, wait, no, that's okay, that's okay. So we got the flashbang ready, right? First thing you want to do, throw it down, run away from the Gyarador. Break this. And you are fucking out of there. Goodbye, goodbye. Fuck everyone. Fuck you all. See you later, fuckers. Now uh, with everyone in that room, you in this room, you are free to just do whatever. Ideally, you want to lead them into this uh, corridor. Take some well-aimed shots. The Gyarador now. Oh, wow, you hit me through that crack. Well done. Kudos to you. Now, just because you're in this room doesn't mean you're completely safe. Gyarador can still come through, and you gotta deal with them. Just like that. And you know what? I'm just gonna throw a regular hand grenade in there. This is the time for that. Alright, this is going to be a tight corner, but I should be able to run away in time before he turns around. Oh, unless I screw up. Uh, that was a bad, uh... <laughs> I don't know why I did that. That was awful. I should have healed before I attempted that. Alright, no problem. I'll just do it again, but better. Usually, though, I end up taking a hit inside that little, uh, cage area. Like, grabbing the flashbang like this isn't mandatory, it just uh, saves time in my opinion. If I remember correctly, there's no like prep work you can do to like stop it from happening. Also, it's really dumb that you can't just uh, hug the wall of this room and avoid the cage. If you're uh, careful, you can see that the cage is clearly going to come down. There's nowhere else for Leon to walk. Why would he, you know, walk into the center of this room, which is clearly a trap. But whatever, it's fine. I guess they do that on purpose to uh, build tension. Alright, try this again. Flashbang goes out. Break the lock. Ow. Jesus. Alright. This should make for a better attempt, though. Take another... Shot. There we go. This is back up, shall we? Let's see. Should be guys pulling behind the uh, door now. Throw a grenade in there. So this time I'm going to stand behind this table. Oh god, that was embarrassing.
Here the Gyarador comes in. I said the Gyarador comes in. There we go. So behind the uh, dining table, the Gyarador can't really uh, maneuver around it. You're free to just uh, take some safe shots. There we go. Thankfully, this Ganado is being dumb and not rushing me. Um, just stay over there. And I missed. Don't even know why I attempted that one. Turn around, please. There we go. Alright. Got rid of the toughest guy. Time to uh, clean up the trash. Like I mentioned earlier, Gyaradors on themselves, by themselves, are no problem. This is probably not recommended, but I did that anyway. There we go. No, I'm not gonna run in there. Let's just wait. There we go, this is a good timing. Come on. Okay, I thought there were more guys, that's why I didn't want to knife him. There you get the hourglass with gold decor. Break the block here, uh, reason. Oh hey, what's up? There are more guys, hello. That's the block of the wise. Kill him. Really now, another one. Oh, hello, the third type of Plagas, lucky me. So this one's a bit different. It does not die to one rifle shot. Um. Are you gonna. Alright, there we go. Doesn't die to one rifle shot, actually takes two. Uh, the way it works is one to dislodge it, one to actually kill it. If you, so to speak, kill it while it's in somebody, it will just uh, jump off. I think you have to re-kill it. And here we got Magnum Ammo. I am very disappointed that this thing does not have its own animal associated with it. It's just Magnum. If I were a game designer, I'd put like a scorpion or something on there. But, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, right, this door is locked. You can't go through. So you don't want to jump down just yet. You want to wait for these guys to come up. Bye! Hello. I'm gonna go ahead and use my incendiary. Now I know what some of you guys are thinking. Those guys are red, they're resistant to fire. Why would you do that? Because I felt like it. By the way, it's not actually true. Pretty sure those guys aren't resistant to fire. They just have more HP. Come on. How do we do this? Operate? Yeah. Alright, back up here, shall we? Oh, hello! I uh, wasn't expecting you guys to be here. Oh, just my luck. Okay, it's not a grabby boy, it's one of those guys. That makes it a lot more palatable. 
palatable. That's only for food. Much more manageable, that's what I meant to say. Nope. Don't even try it. I don't have a special nickname for those guys, like, like Grabby Boys. I'm just gonna, you know, call them whatever. Isn't there a third guy? Oh, yeah, he's right there. Oh, see ya. Uh, that guy went flying for a knife strike, I have to say. I don't want to go here, actually. Let me uh, move forward for a bit. Something I need to do. gonna be where we're gonna be buying from the RE4 merchant Got while the creepy music is going. Sale, Never had that happen before. What are you buying? So what we're here for is, is, that is the Apache you? case yeah, XL. Thank you. And we're gonna need this because we're gonna get a, another free item. Let me save first. There we go. Alright, let's get back into it, shall we? Hello? Anyone? Okay, well then. That was a failure, but also not a failure. Waste of ammo, I know, but I just really don't like the crossbow guys. Are these two okay? <laughs> I mean, if you're just gonna stand there. Goodbye. Is there like a guy below me too? No way. Behind? I would assume he's on the other side then. Oh, there you are. Be ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. So here we can get rid of that pesky lock. Pesky lock. Let's go ahead and steal more treasure. And by treasure, I mean an RPG in a display case. Why does Salazar have this? <laughs> I guess Salazar just really likes RPGs. Considers them a thing of beauty. A national treasure. I guess it's par for the course in this game. You got a lot of guns just hanging around. Yeah. And I'll also explain where his supply of RPGs comes from. He just has them in glass containers for some reason. But yeah, RPG. Let's put this in a more comfortable spot. Look at that. And that's why we got the XL case, so you have guaranteed room for it. Uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and just rearrange everything again, because I'm anal like that. Uh, once I get the revolver, I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Ideally, it would go next to the pistol, because they're both handguns, they both have the uh, red and black color scheme. So it would fit nicely. It's just, uh, it might be a pain if I get additional handgun ammo to re 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 rearrange it, if you know what I mean. Alright, I'm happy with that. Alright, what do you got for me? I need tune-ups. Nope. I don't even know why I asked, I already knew that. Do, 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 do. Hey, it's Leon. Lewis. I got it. And Lewis is dead. Crap. Lewis. So, not to undermine Lewis's death, but if Sadler can do this to kill anyone. Why doesn't he just kill Leon? Now that like, I have the sample, just... you serve me no God. purpose. 
Like he says it right here. You serve me no purpose. Just kill him right now. Follow the same fate. So annoying. It's fine though. Everyone knows RE4 is just an action movie. A researcher hired by Sadler. He found out what I was up to. <laughs> Don't talk. Here. Yeah, you can't do anything about that. Come on. It should suppress growth of the parasite. The sample. Sadler took it. You have to get it back. Lois! Lois! No! So uh, I know I just made fun of Lewis's death, but I do like him. He's a really cool dude. He uh, didn't really deserve to die like that in my opinion. He deserved to go down fighting. Hey, fuck you, Sadler. Thank you for hiding gold behind all your paintings. And that is the distinctive sound of uh... something. I'll let you use your imagination and close your eyes. Help! Oh my god, Ashley, please be quiet. Look, Ashley, I will save you in a moment. Just let me grab some treasure, alright? This is more important right now. So yeah, here's Ashley. This is what was on the other side of that wall. So you can't just shoot her in the face. I don't recommend doing that. Shoot the bars. Oh my god, Ashley, please. I'm trying to concentrate. It's really hard with this jittery aim. It's so cold in the castle. Talk about near death experience. Ashley, someone literally just died in front of Leon. Have some respect. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, Ashley, you worthless piece of garbo. Did I say Ashley had redeeming qualities? I wh Why would I ever say that? I hate you so much. There we go. From this vantage point, it's a lot easier to kill Ganados. You can just shoot them. And no one shows up behind you. So, like, if Ashley could be useful and, like, move to get out of the way that'd be great oh you know what ashley does do a cool thing later i totally just remembered come on ashley be useful do things thank you follow my laser dot like a cat pew 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 the door's locked i can't open it Matalo. Matalo. all right we have some more spanish dudes Ashley, please. And once again, instead of actually trying to get out of here, Ashley just hides there. Ashley, pick up the loot for me. I got the key. I can get out. Thank you. Ah, everyone's favorite part where you have to play as Ashley. Uh... It's not that bad, honestly. It's just a far departure from everything else in the game. Okay. And now we have to play as Ashley. Uh, a lot of people hate this section because, you know, Ashley's this whiny girl who won't shut up. She's defenseless. Doesn't have any of her own, like, guns or anything. She's just Ashley, you know? Um, but honestly, this section isn't too bad. Just gotta do it quick. And it doesn't even drag on that long, to be honest. <laughs> So what you want to do is you want to path your way over to these, uh, lamps. And what Ashley can do is... Uh, you know what, let's get a better angle, actually. There we go. What Ashley can do is she can pick them up, 
and throw them. She's wimpy like that. And as soon as the guy's down, pick up the other lamp and throw it. Third lamp is over here. Oh shit. Alright, nailed it. Uh, Ashley's throw is homing, you don't have to aim it or anything like that. He just picks it up and throws. Easy peasy. And there's one more guy, you can see him through the grating. But first we gotta open this gate. I know they're boring QT. That's okay, cat, whatever. But yeah, again, this section isn't too bad. Just be quick with it, rip it off like a band-aid and you're done. I actually didn't have to open that uh, door. I could have gone the different way entirely by crawling through this, uh, I don't know what you'd call this, this little hole in the wall, I guess. Don't even know why that's there. Hey, it's there. Hey, what's up? So yeah, pretty easy. Just pick them up and throw them. As soon as they're down on the ground, you're free to just path over to the next lamp, throw the other one. Ashley might be wimpy, but she's a good thrower. You gotta give her that. Oh shit, I don't know if that's gonna... Yeah, that'll hit. Alright, we're good. Lord Sadler. Every time they say Lord Sadler, I'm just gonna repeat them. It's a fun phrase. Nay, music stop. That's it, you just gotta kill two dudes. Don't know why people hate the sexing so much. And of course, Ashley, just like Leon, is a filthy thief. He's gotta steal all the treasure. All of it. You don't actually have to uh, unwind the gates all the way, you can leave them partially open. I like to do it all the way though. Wouldn't feel right if I didn't finish the QT, now would it? There we go. So, a uh, funny thing, Ashley can actually suplex a Ganado. And I'll show you how to do it. Unfortunately, it's patched out in the PC version, but I can show you the semantics. If you're on the original Game Boy version, what you do is you leave one Ganado alive, and when he walks over to this door, boom, you slam it in his face, and you get a prompt to uh, suplex. So, like I said, patched out of the PC, only available on the original Game Boy version. It's really funny. I recommend watching a video on Ashley suplexing. It's, uh,. Worth it. Butler's memo. Knowing that Salazar had no family, Sadler must have abused his, um, fact that he had no family. Salazar would never do such a thing unless he was being used in some way. I have no idea what the Lord is planning, but I know Salazar is just being used. It's too late now, though. Salazar's already got a plaga inside. There's no turning back once the plaga has turned into an adult in the body. And there's no cure. If I remove the parasite, Salazar's gonna die. Nevertheless, nothing I can do about it now. I have served the Salazar family for generations. I am prepared to continue until the very end. Poor Butler. Actually my favorite character in the game. My headcanon is that the bodyguards that Salazar had... Had? He still has them. The bodyguards that Salazar has... I think one of them is actually the Butler. Again, that's just headcanon. Nothing to prove that. Oh, and I can't actually do anything in this room. I gotta find the... uh thing that goes inside, as is Resident Evil tradition. Find the thing that goes inside the thing. Oh look, a flashlight. I guess that means something spooky is about to happen. Alright, let's see if I remember how to do this. I'll be honest, I don't really know what I do for this part. I just sort of press buttons and see if it works. Usually I can just figure it out though. Do -do -do. Crawl through. I believe. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit it. Whatever. Ah, I see. I see. I don't actually know what I'm doing. Well, I'm gonna hit this one then. Hmm, so since that one opened, I presume I have to hit this one again? Yeah, good enough. Just keep pressing the buttons until something works, that's how you solve puzzles. I 
I need to stop saying do do do. It's a really bad habit of mine. And hey, there's that creepy music everyone loves. And here's a totally not suspicious knight. <laughs> you guys ever watch the old car cartoons like Tom and Jerry or the Flintstones? And you see like a carefully painted background has a little bit that's off because they need to animate it to move? That's exactly what this knight is. Like, who do you think you're fooling with this? Come on. Alright, let's move forward, shall we? Alright, and here's the dreaded slide puzzle, the most difficult of puzzles ever invented. I'm just kidding, slide puzzles are pretty easy. There's a methodology for doing it. You get the centerpiece in and then you just move around the edges. At least that's how you do this slide puzzle. It's obviously a little harder when they put the uh, pieces in different formations and it's not the standard 3x3. Three three. Otherwise though, it's pretty easy. Just gotta use a little bit of thinking. Where's the... Yes, this is what I'm looking for. Before I grab the main treasure, you want to grab all the side stuff first. It'd be a bangle. Yeah, there it is. Then we grab you. Oh no! So I don't know why they make you grab the treasure twice. Just one would have been fine. No way, the knights are up. How you doing, guys? So you want to back up, wait for them all to enter the room. And then you run, you hightail it out of here. Easy peasy, they're very easy to kite like that. Also helps that Ashley runs real quick. Uh, make sure you get ready for that QTE. If you don't, it's gonna suck, cause that kills you in one hit. Oh hey, what's up? I wonder what happens if I get close to this one. It's always uh, XC or left mouse plus right mouse if you're playing on keyboard and mouse. Just uh, get your hands ready and you'll be fine. Here's another one. Uh, for some reason, when our knights do that, they just... Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Anyway, uh... It's weird that when the knights do that, they just fall apart. Like, could you not afford some sturdier pieces of armor? Alright, pop that bad boy in. In the dais, yes please. There we go. Very long hallway. Hope nothing surprises me. Hey, family reunion. You did good. I'm sorry if I was. Oh, don't worry about it. Come on, let's move on. It's weird that uh, Leon says you did good. I wonder if he even has any idea what Ashley just went through. 